Okay, this is going to be a very, very quick uh, auto program demo. Uh, project name, project code, this is all going to be formatted in Excel. Uh, An email to you when you're finished. Uh, pick the company type. We're going to go with a call sales center as an example. Uh, these are Acrobat file questionnaires. If you click on that, you'll get a file sent to you. You could send it to the client for headcounts or survey survey information. Rentable add-on factor, change that, get that squared away, and you could pick one of the manufacturers or for the purposes of this demonstration we'll just go with generic. Create program, and we're just going to be building some matrices here, a couple actually. Uh, first you want to uh, build your department names, and I'm going to make uh, a general department. I'm going to add that as a custom department name just to expedite things and uh, just as an example, I'll click on a few of these that are teed up. You can import those over. Next step would be picking out your furniture workstation standards. What's the hierarchy? Uh, you got uh, 15 by 15s. We'll pick. Uh, we'll pick some workstations. By the way, as you as you're picking here, you could do custom uh, workstations. See the upper right there that Add Custom Office Workstation uh, tab. Uh, but uh, we're just going to click on some basic tabs. There's a call center. Keep it simple. Maybe we'll do a 10 by 15 also. Just check that. And if you want to see a picture of any of these, you just go to the left and click on any of these icons and, and you'll see a, a, a plan. And what's behind this is uh, 50 to 70 calculations uh, that uh, is an assembly unit of that office, as an example. Okay, let's go to personnel and everything's set up here. There's all your departments, finance, and uh, you can see that it'll, it'll, that, there's your finance spreadsheet. We're going to skip ahead. We're just going to do, do everything under general departments so we keep this, uh, keep this thing moving here. Set up the headers. Uh, you know, I'm going to set this up for future years projections. You can have five different programs here. You can compare workstations and have, have it a scenario one, two, three, four, five. Uh, or uh, for purposes of this demo, we're just going to throw some headcounts in here. A couple of 15 by 15s, uh, sprinkling of 10 by 15s, and then uh, more aggressive on the workstations because it's a call center. Uh, you know, 175 and so forth. We'll just escalate them. And then what we're going to do is, uh, oh, I missed, well, we'll skip ahead uh, that 20. Uh, we're going to focus on the current column. Uh, hit the save button and that's going to give you all your headcount totals. We're set there. Let's hit auxiliary rooms. And the beautiful thing is auto program is going to tee up all your auxiliary functions based on that size and type. And of course it'll be accurate, but it's not going to be perfect. You're going to want to tweak that. So you go to the library. There's your list. And on your left here are the macros and micros to pick from. Category. Uh, there's your miscellaneous category with your choices to import. Uh, we'll go back up to conference teaming as an example. Under that we've got boardrooms, conference rooms, training rooms. So let's look at the training rooms. We've got four training rooms to pick from. So let's hit a 60 person. There's our picture. It's again. It's got the chairs, the tables, the the lectern, the the lights, the ventilation, the, the everything. Everything you can think of is in there. Um, here's how to delete things. You just check the box. Delete that any area. We don't need that. If you want custom rooms, there's the button for it. And the final thing to do is just go back to your uh, counts page, confirm your counts, and hit the save button. Bam. Now we're done. We hit the reports button and your whole program is complete. And again, you can go back and forth and, and fiddle with it and tweak it uh, until you get it the way you want it. But the nice thing about it is, and this is really important to note, the circulation factor you're seeing down here at the very bottom is not something that's guessed upon. It is made up based on a very intense matrix. Every workstation, every office, even the customs have their very own circulation factor. So no matter what blend you pick, you're going to nail it. You can't screw it up. Okay, so let's get a, 
an email of that big Excel file with the charts and the formatting, the colors and the pages and everything, that all that data. So now that's been sent. I'll get that in 10 minutes uh, for my desktop. Hit capital budget, go into the current year. You can pick any year. And there's our budget setup page. It's all set up. Uh, let's go to Illinois. Again, we've got 700 cities in here. Uh, United States and Canada, Chicago. Uh, you're going to see some logos starting to pop up, pop up. We've got people in different cities supporting this, the pricing. Uh, architectural finish level four, I'm going to go right to that. There's a kind of a feel of what that looks like. There's your outline specs. Great, okay, let's close out on that. And let's do uh, just about the final thing is uh, furniture. Again, I'm going to go right to premium because we're in a lead scenario. Let's pretend we're doing lead. Final thing is warm shell. This is more of a checklist for you. This stuff's not in the budget, but it's a great checklist for you and the broker. If any of this stuff's missing, get it in the lease. And if it's not in the lease, then add it to the budget later. Uh, continue with lead. And uh, basically that's it. Now what you're going to see is there it is. 15,000 calculations later. Uh, you've got it all right here. There's your trade summary, all the construction costs broken down. I just hit the electrical button just to show you quickly. This look at the result. This is what this is what this tool is doing. It's doing all the actual takeoffs. If you were to do a space plan and then scope it and then put specs to it and give it to a GC to have subs prelim budget, this is what the same result you'd get. Except we've just done it in a matter of minutes or hours. You would do it. Uh, this would, this is normally a, a, a two to four to six week process minimum. And how much fee is that? There you go. Okay, we'll hit the back button. There's our trades. Get a feel for even the general contractor, all their markups, everything's in there. Hit the back button. And, uh, you know, you've got furniture. We'll click on freestanding just to show you the backup. And again, just like construction, you're getting every single takeoff, every single unit cost, and you can manipulate all these. You can add custom items. You can add items from a pool. Uh, we don't have time to show it to you here, but uh, uh, it's very advanced. Uh, let's skip ahead to uh, lead. Just to give you a quick look, this is our lead setup page. We're not going to do this now, but just to show you it's there. That's another demo we have you can look at. And logging out. Here's your uh, projects page. Here's all my budgets. Here's all my programs. And you can copy, edit, delete, rename, make new ones. I'm going to log out here. And just to finalize everything, just want to show you all the map. If you go to our home page, uh, those are the cities that are covered and updated every six months to a year, depending on what's going on. And we've even got Canada. We don't have nearly as many cities, but you get a feel here. Um, we've got the major ones. So, hey, log on and try it out. Thanks.